Hello my friends and welcome to episode 50. I had originally planned to uh, skip the long painful walk back to the inn, but actually I feel like it gives me an opportunity to talk about something which is, well two things actually. One, why is there no stash? Wouldn't it be nice if you could just, you know, <clears throat> actually stash items you don't want to sell, but want to keep to one side? Because uh, you never know whether, you, whether you're going to go back somewhere or not. So you might want to clean out a shop's inventory <clears throat> of useful items like health potions. And then just keep them in a centralized stash for use later. And then the other thing is... Because items take one action point to use. And you can't... So far as I can see, um, you can't equip them during battle. You can't go into your inventory during battle. You have to put them in fixed slots. The vast majority of the items in this game are useless. Because they're not worth the action economy of using them. And the... Uh, the belt, belt economy, if you will. It's not worth one of your precious item slots, so the vast majority of the them. Map. You know, I was really sitting down and thinking about it, like, I kept those chickens because I thought, oh, you know, I'll throw those at a really tough boss and keep them distracted. But when are you ever going to do that? Because you can't... You, you'll run out of uh, inventory slots very quickly if you do that in battle. Interesting. No, not my gold. There's another belt of double dipping. Movement's better than sprint, more protection, so you're swapping dodge for courage and physical resistance. Quite a lot of dodge. I'll take that. Do I give him the gold now? Money must flow. And that. Well. Uh, I hope this is a worthy investment. Huh, I didn't realize that this shop was going to have new stuff. Especially after all this time of not getting anything new. Nice, that's better as well. And there's major health potions. Yeah, I'd rather have the movement. Patriarch belt. Three impact, three precision. It's actually better than the belt that the ogre is wearing. Hmm. <clears throat>
Well, that was certainly interesting. Let's go ahead and equip that gear before I start selling stuff. Cool. I won't look like such a nerd. No way I'm giving it away! Two health per turn versus like an extra 30 HP, I think. No, an extra, uh, well, probably about 23 HP or something along those lines. I've got some nuts for the squirrels. Right, this is blatantly better. Happy. The dog. If it stinks, it's my boots. Oh, cool. The same as Craw. <clears throat> okay. Don't mix the potions, or boom. Yes, queen. This makes me look badass. It's impolite to search the royal lady's dress, unless she invites you. One agility and two, and one courage. I think I'd rather have the HP actually. I think on thinking about it. No, stay out of my pockets. What's in there? Out huh, of my, my gold, my precious the poor gold. Get poorer. All right, that'll do. Crap, what a mess. Right. Slots two, agility one. Courage one. Two HP per turn is actually pretty good. Fine craftsmanship, and could be pawned for a nice amount. See, I just, I don't know if I want to switch to agility at some point. It's the same with these, it's like, do I want to switch to attack at some point? That is definitely inferior, and can go. See, I'd love to keep the sword, actually, because it looks pretty cool. But it's not as good as the sword that constantly gains attack power with every hit. One strength, one charisma. Not really worth it.
Critical chance and critical damage, not interested. The stew pot of ultimate chili. See, it's another one where you could agi build. Goodbye, throwing hands. You were heavy but glorious. Do I want to lose the dodge? Oh, it'll be alright. Hundred and thirty seven major potions and they're work they're they're one point five weight each. <laughs> so that's like Probably about 160, 170 weight right there. Does she have any ice bombs? The ice bomb is definitely the best one. I still have just ass loads of money. All right, let's go. Just got to keep up using using up my potions, I guess, to heal. Right, before we go to the tavern, I was told that you can fight the Goldboro, so I'm going to actually go and do that, because it sounds like fun. It's kind of supposed to be an end game battle, so it should be interesting. Exhaust tentacles. What brings you to my lair? Ah, the demon! Exhaust tentacles. What brings you to my lair? Ah, the demon! I guess you can't. Exhaust tentacles. What brings you to my land? Oh well. Could have been fun. No fun allowed. Maybe you can go back there later. So, how did your wife enjoy the faucet? Scoundrels! Nay! Here they are. I believe the Exploratory Collective is back with a new request. So they are. 
The roads they've taken through their wondrous peregrinations seem to have brought them to us in search of our miracles, or they're running in circles like idiots. The proletariat tends to repeat the mistakes of the past. Alas, tis probably the price of a respectable person has to pay when they associate with such flunkies. <laughs> but how entertaining they are. We're looking for the master of this dungeon. It seems he's being held captive somewhere and kept hidden. He's on the third floor. It goes without right. saying, however, that our intervention is dependent on just retribution of our astral skills via a preliminary transfer of fiat cash. We'll manage on our own. We can't give him our gold. Wait, wait, wait. What if I told you we are all trapped in a demonic time loop? The dread that comes with the evils unleashed by demons is prone to make any wise man doubt his own path. But did you really think you could play us like that? Yeah, because all you do is drink, smoke like a couple of blast furnaces, and pig out on fondue. We're aesthetes of the cheesy agape. How dare you? Just a sec. I'm checking my Astral Anomalies scanner. I had, in fact, switched it off when we arrived to keep the commercial solicitations from interrupting us. Drat! Damn, <laughs> we've been duped like, like dupes. And how am I supposed to find the chosen one, his magic sword, and the crazy bitch in the lake now? You see? We share the same nightmare. Our common interest is obviously linked to the termination of this demonic space-time disturbance. However, it is not our want to do volunteer work. Dude, you're a total asshole. Not only did you pawn my sword to pay your debts, but now you won't even lift a finger for those kids who are trying to save our asses? Yes, well... <laughs> it seems reasonable to outline the convergence of our needs as a justification for the deduction of the full amount of our wages for the aforementioned intervention. We have been told the Dungeon Master must be brought back in order to break the loop. Tis true that the return of the Master of these premises should appease the existential dissonance clutching at this dark fortress. But where is the fucker? We can look for him through a divinatory ritual. Like the times I have to pick the ripest cheese wheel in a cheese cellar. If you could, that would be perfect. But oh, this, man. we need something that belonged to him, a valuable item. How are we supposed to find an item that belonged to someone we don't know? It would be surprising if you couldn't find any of the Master's personal belongings anywhere in the whole fortress. Ask his personal servants for information. His steward, for example? Uh, who could we interrogate? Raybax, the half-goblin, the steward of this dungeon. Good idea. We'll pull bits off of him until he talks. Yes! If this keeps going, I'll end up disappearing from this adventure altogether. My life is but a long, miserable humiliation. We can always count uh, on you to whine. Come on, on to the fourth floor. Come and find us in the summoning circle with an item that is befitting. We'll be laying the groundwork for the ritual ceremony, the accomplishment of which relies on rhythmic sequential cantillations. Oh. Man, it hurts my brain to listen to that garbage. Right. Funny though. Oh, still locked. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. He's just in his room, apparently. What are the odds that we're going to have to beat somebody with a frying pan to get him? Well, here we are, but no Raybacks. Strange, all these signs of struggle. Looks like a battle went down here. Ha! Goblins are always squabbling with each other. There's a strange broken bottle on the ground. Look, it's some Chateau Le Luzer, a renowned vintage. Who do we care about empty bottles? There's not a drop left in it. Chateau Le Luzer is no mere <laughs> table wine, it's a premium vintage. The text said the plonk. Was smashed. This warrants our attention. I think we should listen to the thief. For once. I thank you. It's good to feel validated. Who's the thief guy again? 
Uh, should I be bothered by being ignored by the ignorant? Okay, fine. We should listen to him. But it feels weird. I knew it. My isolation was the result of a plot. Oh, come on. We're listening. Doesn't mean we have to like you. So where's Ravax if he's not around? I was saying he's been abducted. This bottle is a major hint. Look, there are goblin hairs and bits of flesh on the glass shards. Ew, that's gross. It's the bartender. If someone knocked him out with the bottle and since the whole dungeon is trapped in a loop, this means the bottle must have come from the inn. That holds up. It's an interesting investigative approach to find where Ravax It's the shady as hell innkeeper. Guy. Well, I think it would be better I to interrogate Mel Boots. Knew was up the to innkeeper something. must know something about this bottle. This boorish innkeeper reeks of garlic and bad liquor, but his seedy looks might be hiding his true usefulness from us. <laughs> this can be said of all peasants, and appearances hold no value for me. Really? But you thought I was handsome. Yeah, fine. Got it. Still, it feels wrong. I mean, paying attention to the thief is just... Odd. In turn, I'll act as if I didn't hear what you just said. Let's go to the inn. Oh. What the hell? Okay. There's no battle music on this, uh, this battle. Oh no, it is there. It's just really quiet for some reason. Let's rock! Let's rock! All you can eat is my axe! Get the mage. Take him out before he can do anything. There you are. Freeze! Your face. Nice. I actually got roughly 50% for once. <clears throat> These despicable goblins are filthier than peasants, which goes to say. <laughs> uh, that didn't hurt. Actually, really didn't. Talk <laughs> ready. How are you going to utter goblin nonsense, Mr. Anderson? If you are frozen solid. <laughs> it's not quite how that scene went, but you know. Close enough. I must remember that I actually have this aura as well. What do you want, peasants? Hmm. 
my turn. Man, it's got 561 HP. No wonder it's hard to bring it down. Arcana time. No, oh, you're not getting out of my check. In your dreams. You're not getting out of my check. Rivastak. Go on, blow yourself up in the middle of your own guys. <laughs> he did 1361 to himself. Ow. <laughs> Oh man, that damage reflection even works at range. Huh. Get behind the table. <laughs> Gonk. I've got the moves. <laughs> Boom! Dodge that one. An elite fusilier. Okay, well that was a fantastically glorious waste of a turn. Both of these boys are close to death, but he hasn't got any multi-hit. <laughs> this guy put himself in check. Brawling in a goblin. Ah! This sucks. Yeah, no need to waste any high-powered capabilities on that. See if we can freeze the mage. Oh! Woo! Entropy at work here. Don't stand in my way. She set herself <laughs> on fire. This is looking to be a relatively easy battle. Heal them after I'm done shanking these guys out of existence. <laughs> My leadership is leading us to victory. Gunolo. And another one bites the dust. And another giant lag. Arcana time! Blast him! Yeah. Of 
that's that extra HP, let him get free. <laughs> Gonk, you get nothing. Ooh, easy. Now die. Yeah. Fail again. Ato Latak, you yeah, high speed, low drag. Dinner time. Blood, blood, blood. Huh? All this guy does is Overwatch, and Overwatch is just so easy to avoid. I'm here, just saying. People tend to forget me. Snake, snake, snake. Take Those that cowards worm. are running. Tell that worm. Analyst Fladar. Slightly closer, so I can just blind these two without getting my own guys. Yeah. Easy! Go. Ruined. Oh, I love it when everything goes according to plan. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, no. We just formed the village circle, but there was no actual discussion. Crap, what a mess. Uh, is it worth healing? I suppose it's partly worth healing just to waste, just to use, uh... Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Just to use What's up some there? health. Ah, my bad. 55. Ah, I was thirsty. Sprudof buddy. It's not as inefficient as I was thinking. The medium health potions actually don't restore a lot of health. You should always note your escape routes on a map. Vot a shocker. Okay, that's it for now. Join me next time. We're going to get this battle done. I'm going to presume it's going to be a battle. It's always a battle. It's a, it's a game of battles. And I will see you guys then.